So which shot was more cinematic? Th the last one or this one? It's always interesting when I look back on some of the films I've made and how, like, for example, the first one, you know, is a whole exposure mess and uh, how the most recent one has all these sound and editing hiccups. Now even the second one, the one I'm most proud of, the one that I'm actually very happy with how it turned out, is still far from quote-unquote perfect. Yet, I think it's perfect. I was fiddling with the color balancing in DaVinci Resolve because I was trying to put together my cinematography reel and for some reason the display color was coming up darker than the actual source media. And that's annoying. I spent a long time color grading all these shots and I didn't want to have to deal with that. Like I was re-watching all my source media so I was re-watching all my short films and I just reminded myself that for that film in particular there isn't really anything I would change about it. Like, there are even deliberate moments where the focus pulling is off, or like I add in throwing the focus out of focus. Uh, but I deliberately make some shots imperfect. Every filmmaker deliberately makes some shots imperfect. I collect vintage Pentax Takamar lenses. You know, they're from the 60s and 70s. They're not tack sharp, uh, especially wide open, which I often film at. You know? Like, that shot was meant to serve a purpose in a larger project, as every other shot, I hope, that I've made. So why, why doesn't it get included in my reel. It would be really weird if you're watching a cinematography reel and all the shots looked all pretty and stuff and then all of a sudden there's just a random iPhone shot that's all poor framing and exposure and grainy and noisy and it looks all nasty. But like, ew, that's the point. I need a girlfriend. This lighting doesn't even look that good. It's also not a good angle. It's not flattering. But then again, it wasn't really supposed to be.